guys, it's Ronald, and welcome back inside some more from that's Royale. And today we are chilling in the battle battle bus with our root beer, drinking and waiting to jump. I really like root beer, so don't judge me. Da -na -na -na. Go to the racetrack because I don't want to die. Welcome to my new episode. It's, a, it's actually one day until season six and I'm so excited. Today on the news I had a picture of like, I think it was like a wolf, a werewolf, a werewolf skin. It looks really good. We also had a llama robot DJ. Okay, so we could go futuristic. Maybe the theme can just be unpredictable. <laughs> Well, that would just be weird. <coughs> well, Fortnite ha didn't have really any good, like really good updates so far. So I guess they're just saving and like they're keeping our uh, hopes low. And then, and then we're just gonna have a big, I thought the bottom pump, this one right here was green, that's why I went for the one on top, because I saw that one was blue. But nope, they're both blue. Mm. Oh, metal seats, what? Oh, what? Fortnite fixer game, metals. What is that, oh, grappler? I guess we can hold it. I don't know if that bounced on those tires, but <coughs> I don't really care. I just want some kills. Actually, we're not gonna go for the kills. We're gonna go for the wins. No, I'm not gonna go for camping in bushes. Or avoid every single fight I get into. I can, I will only get into a fight if I know which position to go in and if I know I have the good advantage. I wouldn't jump, I, I'm gonna, because I start to just go into fights not thinking about position and that's how I die so easily. Now I'm gonna be like, if two people are build fighting on top, I'm not just gonna, Go on top. I'm maybe gonna hide and break the bottom, or I can just completely avoid it because everything, everybody in that um, like 200 meters can see the build fight because it's tall. So I'm not gonna because usually people are gonna get on there because it's everyone sees it. So they will see me if I go on the build fight. And then they'll come, and then there's gonna be lots of people on me. You see, you gotta be smart, boy. 200 IQ. Ha ha. <laughs> I just take that grappler when I use that for one run once. I'm not just gonna push a port of fortress. Oh wow, that was a perfect hit. I'm not gonna put push someone's in a port of fortress. I'll get behind cover. Um, I'll get to the high ground. Maybe if there's a mountain near, or um, or if if I cannot get the high ground. If I, if I just build up, that's just gonna be, he could shoot me down. But if I get on a mountain, he cannot shoot me down. So I would do something like that. But if there's no, nowhere I could find to get a better advantage, I'll sneak my way out. <coughs> this, I'm starting, now I'm gonna start to rethink my fights. I feel like I say that every single episode. I don't know why 
I passed on that buggy? I have no clue why. Why did I do that? Honestly, why did I pass on that buggy? There was a buggy that I passed. I was like, eh, I don't need it. Just like, can go back for it. Ooh, yeah. Where's that buggy? It's time to locate a buggy. Dun 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 <laughs> the reason why Alia has so many wounds is it's not because you can see he's not very skillful in building he's not <coughs> very, very skillful in aim but he puts himself in the correct positions that he could win even with bad building and bad aim you can see that he almost never gets into a build fight Well, I cannot get, oh, no, I can't, okay. Now, why is it turning by itself? Okay. Come on. Completing this. I, I don't know why, like, I haven't, like, done a race on the racetrack before. It's kind of an obvious thing to do in playgrounds with your friends. Have a race on a racetrack with them. Get mind blown. I was just here for the grappler. I didn't know why. Nah, whatever. <coughs> mm. It's time to go back around. I'm just playing on this race track. Alrighty. Da -na -na. Na -na -na. Na -na -na. Okay, here we go. It's time to exit this place. Finally. Because the, the car cannot jump on the tires. And I'm too lazy to build ramps for it. <coughs> I know there's a chest there, it's just I don't really want to go for it. Ooh, ah, oh, wow, hard hits. I'm gonna follow the trail, because I'm a good driver as I try to drive up the mountain. Off the trail, into retail row. I thought I should get skill points for that. How, d okay, how did I not get skill points for that? Whoa. Okay, time to use my good positioning into play. You see, I'm not pushing right away. I'm using, and plus I'm using. You see how my good positioning works? Now this place is in a tree. I moved myself towards the tree, so she didn't, so. Yeah, I'll take care of this person. I, so for the, for the first fight, I basically, what I did is I moved myself behind the tree. If I built for cover, she would know I was there. So she just ran with an unexpected, 
Wait, and then just like one, she did not know I was there. So she just ran. Well, she ran uh, to, well, get somewhere else and maybe get a different position. But I was over there. And she had no clue I was there. You saw her, she was running. I got like a headshot and a body shot on her. <coughs> and then it was easy for me to kill because all she wanted to do was mini up. So then I just get her when she was miniing. See? Even though she was the first one to see me, I still killed her. I remember always listening to people say that and I was like, oh, whatever, like, I mean, like, you could just build for cover or whatever. I did not know, like, I did not listen because I was too lazy or just didn't want to, like, follow the rules. I just wanted to play the game. But now I see how much I can improve from these tips I learn. Okay, good positioning. No! Mm. No, okay. I could leave this fight. Um, I did leave a medkit at racetrack. Okay, I'm gonna head to racetrack. I wanna get out of this because I just took loads of fall damage. So, if this was yesterday, I would just push him even though I was at this much HP. Oh no. Okay, so I weaken him. He's got no shield, so I push. I think he picked up my medkit I dropped for the minis, which is helpful. So I'm not gonna head to that sniper, because she has a sniper, obviously, and we're far apart from each other. So if you see someone that has a um, that has a, a weapon that is good for that range and you don't, don't interfere. Like if someone's pushing you and you don't have a shotgun or a SMG. Oh, now she has high ground. I don't know why I did that. damage I mean that was a big range <laughs> what was she doing you see she did not give herself good positioning now I bet you feel just like me oh whatever just I want to play this game if I play I'll just get better that's how I felt but you gotta follow these trips. Get good positioning. <coughs> I'm currently holding. What? Oh. oh, I thought that would kill me for a second. Use natural cover so they don't know you're there. Now I'm gonna build a metal because it's more quiet. Okay, obviously I wanna avoid this other person. So, this person's probably gonna get around me.
You see, I had the peak advantage. If I was him, I would build a ramp so they don't have, so I don't have the peak advantage on myself. Person has a heavy sniper. I heard someone here. Got him. He stood still. I know I hear someone here. Okay, she's around the corner. Also, when you're playing this game, keep calm. Always, always keep calm. Like, I'm keeping calm and I am wrecking everyone. <coughs> I started at the racetrack and now I have eight kills. It's pretty good for a racetrack game. You see, I give myself the high ground. I give myself the, <laughs> okay, that was a noob. I didn't even need to. But he will probably hit me if I didn't give myself the high ground. If you're launch padding and you see someone while you're, while you're in the air, try to find a place that you could get natural high ground. Or maybe on a building that was the, that the map had generated. Not, well maybe already built stuff, but. I shouldn't have used that. Okay, that guy was pretty, um, okay. I would have built there, to be honest. I knew I said don't build many times. Okay, we're getting 11 kill game on the racetrack? I landed at the racetrack? What? I have 11 kills, well, if I win. I have 10 kills right now. You see, he has the high ground, probably. He doesn't see me. Um, but I have the storm advantage. Uh, he just went over there somewhere. Think, maybe thinking. Okay, this is the part where I build a base. You see, I'm getting better now. I know what to do. I know that, um, don't, not to push people randomly now. Now I'm getting to high ground right now. What is he even thinking? Now when he, when he reloads. Don't go straight in, cause Bloom, if he's randomly shooting, don't, don't go straight in. Cause Bloom might just automatically, magically be on his side. And then, so I wait for him to reload and then I come in and then I spray him. So yeah, that was my episode, <laughs> I guess. 
That was basically an educational com commentary. Victory Royale educational commentary. So, what did we learn today, folks? <laughs> okay, but seriously, when take natural duck. You see, keep yourself from cover as, as much as possible. Don't stand open peeking all the time. When you f kill someone, you want to lose at least 10 HP or 50 HP. 100 HP, garbage. You need to get better at this game. Or if you die, they probably use these tips on you. So use not, if you want to push on someone, don't build to push. You're going to be like, oh, he's there. And then well, they're going to have a build fight. Maybe he's better and he's going to kill you. But I use in that first kill, I used natural cover. That was a great example. I used natural cover to push, and then he had no clue I was there, and I sprayed him with the AR, and he was one shot. And I got him. So yeah, and don't push people right away. If they have a gun that is long range, or medium range, or, and, or close range, and you don't have that kind of gun, you should just exit. If you have, if you have low HP, exit. If you, but don't exit like, they see you exiting. Don't go to Tilted all the time. I'll give you a list of my favorite landing spots. Uh, the the little village in, in the desert area near the gas station, racetrack, dusty, uh, lazy, and yeah, that those are the bits. So yeah, guys, hope you learned something today, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, smash the like button. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.